Well, good morning, Cherokee Hills family. We're coming to you from the auditorium of the Cherokee Hills campus, and uh, we wanted to let you know about some developments uh, going forward as a church. We are doing a lot online, and when you think of all, about all the content that's coming, not just for me and the adults, but also teenagers and youth, and then Brooke's doing a great job also on uh, the children. So we got a lot of things coming out. Hopefully you're taking advantage of it for sure. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about adults after Joel talks about teenagers and lets you kind of in on what he's doing as well. So take it away, buddy. Yeah, so students, they do an incredible job of adjusting to the digital age. They're always one step ahead of us. So with this pandemic and doing things online, they have adapted well. Uh, again, that's not ideal. We want to be able to meet together in person, but in the meantime, we've been doing a uh, youth group on Zoom on Wednesday nights, and that has been a success. It's It's been exciting to see the students and for the students to, to see one another and their small group leaders. And I feel really great about that. And we've also been doing uh, our Sunday school class through YouTube on a Sunday morning so students can watch that whenever they wake up and get around on a Sunday morning and be able to um, get their lessons that way. Uh, we've tried to communicate a lot of different ways and utilize social media and the kids, the students, our youth catch on course quick. Um, and we're also going old school. Brooke has been sending out mail to students. We've mailed other things to students. And so it's interesting in this time, we're not just utilizing uh, new, um, new technology, but we're utilizing things like uh, the posts and, and mailing things out. And so that's been, it's been neat. And we're just, we just want to make sure that you know that you are not forgotten, your kids are not forgotten, your families, or if you're just there by yourself at home, we haven't forgotten you. We think about you, we pray for you, and, and we're doing our best to provide um, the best possible experience during this time. So does Brooke use stamps? I guess stamps. I, I don't even know how much a stamp is. I haven't uh, used a stamp. Yeah. We don't even lick stamps anymore. No, that's true. Yeah, I haven't licked yeah, a don't. stamp in a long time. Well, way to go, Brooke. She's, She's just, been rock star in yeah. all of this for sure. Remember, she came on board March 1st, and by March 22nd, we were quarantined. You know, So she's done a really good job with that. So what is what does the future hold for us? I think at one point in the later part of uh, April, I had hoped by this weekend, Mother's Day, we'd be together. But the guidance has come down from uh, the mayor as well as the governor and even federally has been really vague about what churches can do and not do. Right now, for instance, we're in this phase, one, where we're only supposed to gather with uh, 10 people or more or less. And uh, that's tough for us. And then they were also saying that people over the age of 65 should stay home and children under the age of five should stay home. Um, and so that kind of cuts into our church quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So the elders and Joel and I met last week and we decided we would put a plan forth that basically says this, that we will stay outside of the auditorium uh, in a big group gathering until at least June 7th. And so we're going to continue offering online sermons and worship and communion at least through the end of May. And that, that day may change a little bit because we don't know what the future really holds. So we're going to do until John, June 7th. In the meantime, there's a couple ways that you can hook up with people in your life. Um, one of the things is if you're in Sunday school, talk to your Sunday school teacher about Zoom. Mm -hmm. About four, four or five of the classes that we have here at uh, Cherry Hills, they're actually doing Zoom already. And if you're not a part of it, you sure can be. You can talk to Steve Kalmeyer or Greg Gilpin. Uh, those two guys are doing a lot, Kenny McDonald as well. So that's one way to connect. Another way to connect is just in serving other people. We hope that you're thinking about that and thinking about the people in church. Maybe you could give a call to and just say, hey, how are you doing right there? Eventually, we will 
get out of quarantine completely. But we just don't know when. This Sunday is Mother's Day, and we're going to do a Mother's Day sermon, which I don't do every year, but I decided this year would be a great, great time to do that. So we're working on that as well. And then we'll jump back into our Anxious for Nothing series right after Mother's Day. So there's some other things that are going to happen in May as well. Yeah, we May is such a big month for us. So May is uh, always an interesting month in Oklahoma because you have, obviously, on the weather side of things, who knows it, uh, what's going to happen. But uh, for us, we also have, outside of Mother's Day, we have graduation. And that's going to be different for our seniors this year. And they're not gonna, going to be able to have that traditional ceremony where they walk across stage with their class. But we want to still celebrate our graduates and we want to be mindful of their accomplishments and we want to make sure that they are noticed and they are celebrated. So we're going to have a, a video um, like we normally would and that'll be a part of our online presentation on May 17th and we'll find other ways to honor them and, and highlight them and reach out to them to make sure they know that we haven't forgotten them. And even we've had plans and we're looking into down the road, what can we do for our graduates? Maybe we have a ceremony here for them, but just some way that uh, not only do they get to be to experience that time where they're celebrated, but moms and dads get to celebrate with them, and that's such an important thing for the entire family. But I, I think that what I love about what God is doing, and that's the key, what God is doing in the middle of all this, is hearing stories of families taking communion together, um, seeing what God is teaching you during this tough time. What scripture are you memorizing? What new um, hobbies are you are you learning? And so I think Charlie and I really look forward to when we're we're able to come back together safely. What is what are the stories you're going to tell about what God did for you during this time? Because we know God's showing up. We've seen it in our own lives, and we've seen it and had heard it from you and your stories. And we just look forward to hearing more of that. And we care about you enough to be cautious about our approach to getting everybody together. We don't want to start anything that's going to be hard to, to contain. And so that's why we're pushing this out a little bit. And again, we'll be, we're kind of in at the mercy of our, our elected officials in this whole deal. We're paying attention to them as well. So um, we do have a crowd, though, today because right here in the second row, Greg Gilpin and Terry Gilpin decided to reserve their seats for when we come back. And so uh, you might give them a hard time or sit in their chair and see what they say or something like that. So, so Sunday school goes on in the Zoom. Uh, world church will continue virtually on YouTube, Facebook Live, and uh, Facebook pla platforms as well. And so that's what we've got going on for the next four weeks or so. And then we'll we'll recalibrate and say, see what God's got for us going forward. So thank you for being consistent in your attendance here and watching the video, but also for your consistency in giving. It's been really an inspiration to see what's going on in the church and the amount that people have given as a collective group. And we're, we're thankful for that. Invite somebody in to share with you in your home or in their home to watch this video that we have going on. Not not this one, it's announcement, but the sermon and the worship and all that. You can get another family in your house and, and do that. Way. You might introduce somebody to the church and they very well might say, I want to check it out. And uh, that's what we're looking forward to. Yeah, and I think another thing that people are going to be excited when we come back together is to see all that's happened to the building. Uh, so much is going on, and that's kind of the unique part of this timing uh, for us to be away from this space and to come back and see all that has happened with the construction and the renovation and what we're going to have for children and what we're going to have for our guests and what we're going to have for you. And we are so excited. I, I can't wait to see people's eyes as they get big, as they walk into this building and they see see something new, something better, and, and something fresh. And uh, that's just going to be another great part of us coming back together again. Okay, well, we're going to let you go and uh, just want you to carry on doing what you're doing. Check on people, love God, love other people. And if you do that, we're going to get through this and it'll be sooner than later. So God bless you and God bless Cherokee Hills Christian Church.